All right, guys, so we are here for another Dokkan Battle video. Now, along with the brand new Dokkan Fest hit, which is coming to global before it comes to the Japanese version of Dokkan, there also are several other pretty damn good cards coming to global first, such as Full Power Frost right here, which I was absolutely thrilled, by the way, to see that they made a card of him. Uh, when I first saw him appear in that episode of Dragon Ball Super, I immediately thought to myself, these clever they're so clever they had frost do this for about five seconds 1.7 million that's quite good actually whoa all right yeah again for for a non dokkan fest uh, exclusive a non lr 1.7 that's pretty good for me from frost i like what i see so far but you know they had frost go into his full power form for like what <laughs> five seconds and, you know, now we got the full power frost. We'll be in Dragon Ball Heroes, Dokkan. We'll probably get it in Legends eventually. All of those games. So that is cool to see. Uh, they also made the frost quite good. And then, of course, we have our boy Hit here. Uh, Y'all already know how formidable uh, Hit can be uh, with his, you know, basically, if you have Champa on rotation or Hit, yo. <laughs> this is why Hit and Jiren is such a good combo because Hit can stun on his passive, uh, you know, Jiren can stun on his passive, and both Hit and Jiren do extra damage if the enemy is stunned. So very, very nicely done there by those units. Um, okay, so this Frost, right? Uh, Frost is a rather good unit, okay? Like, he gets uh, a 120% attack buff uh, on super attack, right? So uh, that does allow him to be able to hit quite hard as we already could see uh he also does get a slight damage but or a slight uh defensive buff uh on his uh super attack as well so you know if you don't have him going in the first slot he should be able to defend moderately well especially if we're talking about something like uh super battle road or you know something along those lines uh frost also does give himself key for i believe the first six turns which for the teams frost can be used on I, I would say for the most part isn't highly necessary uh you know he is able to be used on like the full power team where i think he could be an interesting uh option because you know he does have like the turn of power link which you know ui goku himself right there uh you know uh, evolution blue vegeta lr goku and frieza they all have the turn of power link so i do think frost could work uh semi well in the full power category but of course on the universal survival art category where all of these top tier units they all have the tournament of power link uh they're all going to be able to super attack very very easily now, that's one of the reasons i like the universal survival art team so much uh is because of the fact that they all link up so well uh so that's why i like this hit hit you know uh champa well, maybe not really champa but you know hit the frost uh boda Magetta. They're interesting options for the Universal Survival Arc team. They do provide some different things, definite uh, upgrades, you know, that this team has received. I do like that, right? Because there's still a lot of characters. There was such, <laughs> such a high amount of new characters uh, introduced during the Universal Survival Arc. Ooh, 2.3. Very good from Hit right there. Uh, such a high amount of characters introduced that, you know, it, it's good that they're running back around and kind of, you know, adding a lot of these guys in here. Uh, now, I, I think what we're probably going to see here, this will be a good test of how much damage Hit is going to take uh, from UI Goku. Because, of course, UI Goku, I do consider the strongest. Oh, okay, Hit with the crit and he's done. Uh, but I do consider UI Goku the strongest Dokkan Fest boss. So, you know, I, I believe he's immune, you know, stunning, sealing, attack lowering, all that shit he's immune to. So, this really is worst case scenario for Hit, uh, a rotation like this. You know, uh, UI Goku, you know, is not going to have his attack lowered. Because that's the thing, even though Hit does not uh, increase his defensive abilities, uh, he is able to lower attack uh, when, he, when he attacks. So, as long as he's not in the first slot... Uh, you know, whatever boss he's hitting usually will be able to have their attack lowered. Uh, many bosses can actually have their attack lowered. Uh, obviously, you know, UI Goku cannot, but he's, again, I've said it a million billion times. I do think he's definitely the strongest Dokkan Fest uh, event still in the game. Even though, at this point, believe it or not, we're closing in on this event being a year old. I know it's insanity to say out loud, but this event is closing in on a year old. 
and definitely still the strongest. Uh, they, they have kind of dialed back the difficulty for a lot of these events. Uh, I am eager to see Blue Gogeta's uh, Dokkan event. I could imagine that one being uh, incredibly difficult because I presume once, you know, Gogeta takes his blue form, he'll be immune to everything, right? Attack lowering, defense lowering, ceiling, stunning, all of that. Uh, those bosses are always, you know, very difficult because you just have to beat them with, you know, high attack, high defense cards. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, hits taken 47k from a normal attack. So, this, this is a good clue to me that hit is going to be very high risk high reward in super battle road you know you, we're gonna have to understand that in super battle road you know the jiren hit rotation could be very very powerful but you're also gonna be risking uh quite a lot uh you know if you don't get stuns off with hit you're gonna be taking a lot of damage uh again i do think frost could be pretty solid because he does have a nice attack buff nice defensive buff Frost does also greatly raise his attack uh, on super attack. A nice little 50% attack buff. So, by the way, I think Frost, his strongest rotation would probably be a hit leader, a friend hit, uh, and then probably God Topo, Frost, and then Champa as a rotation would probably provide uh, Frost's best rotation. And he would need an additional super two since he does greatly raise his attack. So, all right. So, just from what we've seen, uh, I, I, you know, I do like what we've seen from uh, Frost. I like what we've seen from Hit. Uh, this is definitely a very nice uh, kind of update here with a lot of good characters, uh, characters who can provide a lot of value to you know the Universal Survival Arc team. And well, hmm, I was gonna say other teams, but you know, Champa and Hit. You know, you, you pretty much have to use them on some sort of variant of Universe Six or Universal Survival Arc team. Uh, Cause like Champa, he's on Realm of Gods, but you're not gonna you're not gonna run him on Realm of Gods. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a little bit more closer look at this Frost right here. So this is demonstration of true strength, Frost full power. His leader skill is SCR type key two HP attack and defense ninety percent. So that's pretty good right there. Uh, that that will be very useful uh, if you want to take him into Dokkan Battlefield uh, as a sub leader skill. His super attack is the Dirty Burst, which greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy, so that's pretty solid right there. Uh, his passive skill, Balance of Physical Strength, is key three for six turns from the start of turn, a 120% attack buff and a 60% defensive buff with a medium chance to stun the enemy when performing a super attack. So, he can also stun, so... Hmm, I, he would be interesting on Super Battle Road because now it's like, you know, we can run, we can run Hit, Jiren, and Frost, all who have, you know, good chances to stun the enemy. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of stuns going around. Then, of course, Frost and Jiren both do get massively stronger when the enemy is stunned. Plus, you could also still have Android 17 plus LR Goku and Frieza as a rotation. You know, having that as a rotation the whole time moving forward, like, you're going to tear through everything. Because 17 just gives such massive buffs to LR Goku and Frieza. And I still consider LR Goku and Frieza to be the best card in the game. The strongest card in the game. So they will tear through Super Battle Road. I am going to be very interested to see, though, uh, how the Universal Survival Saga Super Battle Road category stage is going to play out. And how the Universe 6... Uh, Super Battle Road Sage is going to play out. As of right now, Universe 6 is a rather limited category, right? There's not a lot of options. Uh, they still have not released, what, uh, Dr. Rhoda was a member of the team, as well as the Universe 6 Namekians. Uh, I do feel like they could make the Universe 6 Namekians actually kind of uh, intriguing cards, right? Like, you know, definitely they would be needed to buff the Namekian category as well. So I do hope, you know, this really was the update to introduce them. But I hope whenever they do introduce them, they do make them formidable uh, to really buff up that Namekian category team a little bit more. Like, people make jokes, but I'm getting off on a little bit of a tangent here. But it would be very easy to buff the Namekian category, man. Just make a Dokkan Fest Piccolo, call him Piccolo, and then, like, fuse with Kami. Boom, so you can use him alongside another Piccolo in the team. Uh, and then, you know, then add a, a new TUR Nail, who's really good. 
you know, put in the Universe 6 Namekians who are very good, and boom, you can actually build probably a solid Namekian team. Especially, too, if we could get, like, an LR Demon King Piccolo, which I think is very fair. That's definitely something we should get, who's a really powerful unit, as maybe a summonable LR. And all of a sudden, that Namekian category goes from the worst category to being a very formidable one. It's very, very easy to do. Uh, they just gotta add some of these extra characters in, right? Now, we've gotten no info regarding it, but a lot of people are kind of theorizing we could possibly see an LR Kefla. Uh, I do think that is actually realistic. Like, along with this, you know, hit, uh, update with the hit banner, they could toss out, like, an LR Kefla for, on Global First before it comes to JP. That would not be the craziest thing in the world to me. Uh, I, hopefully, right? Because I would like to see maybe, like, a transforming LR Kefla would definitely bring a lot of hype. That would be a really cool card. And would definitely buff up this category quite a bit. Uh, I, I do think we are due for a new Khalifa card. Believe it or not, the, the Kale cards, I think, are actually quite formidable still. But we could definitely get a better version of Khalifa. Khalifa's... She's a nice defensive option, but we could get a better version of Khalifa at this point. Uh, there actually is still no Super Saiyan 1 version uh, of Khalifa in the game. Uh, we even could probably get like a better Kabe. Like, there's still so much they could do with uh, so many units from like the Universal Survival Arc and you know other eras too. So, uh, you know, the categories there's it's going to be interesting what they do with the next wave of Super Battle Road category uh, stages. I, I kind of predict that we should be able to tell maybe sometime soon on GP uh, what the next category Super Battle Road stages are because we could start seeing buffs uh, for certain categories which might indicate the next wave will be coming up because remember the last new stages for Super Battle Road on GP came out in July so it's now been half a year since they came out so I would expect new stages uh, I, honestly they could probably come as soon as the movie uh, celebration so that would be very interesting now, Frost, uh, getting back to Frost, uh, he his links are solid enough. He's got Universe's Most Malevolent, Metamorphosis, Brutal Beatdown, Coward, Tournament of Power, Warriors of Universe 6, and Fierce Battle. Uh, it would have been really nice if he had Over in a Flash instead of Coward. Uh, it's a shame. Dude, I, I, it's so frustrating to me that he has Universe's Most Malevolent, the Frieza family link. And Frost is not on the most malevolent clan category, the Frieza category. This guy would be very good on that team, man. Like, this, this is what I was talking about. I was telling people, it's dumb that Frost is not on the category because, like, it's it's literally the Frieza family category. Like, I know he's from a different universe, but he's, a, like, a Frieza race member. Like, they should have just allowed him to be on there. It's just an unnecessary shaft uh, that Frost will get right there. Uh, but he's got Fierce Battle. He's got Turner of Power. Uh, Turner of Power is really his only sort of common key link. He also has Warriors of Universe 6, but it's Turner of Power is the main one that he's going to be rocking uh, in a lot of these teams. But at the very least, in the Universe 6, Universal Survival Saga, and really the full power team, which he's also on, uh, that Turner of Power is a very viable link. Uh, his 12-key multiplier is 140%. That's pretty much what, you know, uh, units of these days would get. Uh, he has three categories, of course. Universal Survival Saga, The Full Power, and Universe 6. Uh, I should also mention real quick that Frost SSR is actually a uh, final form Frost. So you can not you, you can't grind his super attack up, but uh, remember Final Form Frost is just a summonable SR, uh, who will very likely be featured, by the way, uh, on the hit banner. So all you have to do is just sort of uh, you know, raise up a lot of those uh, Frost SRs, Z Awaken them, and you can feed them in to get the uh, extra SA chance. Oh, uh, that's kind of how Dokkan is doing it nowadays, where pretty much every unit has either a farmable card or like a summonable SS SR that you can kind of raise your super attack level with. So, there we go, guys. There is the Frost. Uh, pretty intriguing card. I'm very glad they finally gave him. You know, we finally have an SSR Frost, and we finally have a TUR Frost as well. Uh, very good, very good that Dokkan did this. Still a lot of characters not in Dokkan that I do want to see added, though. And a lot of buffs for different category teams that I do think, you know, could get it. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.